What y'all got going, family? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing, man? Rise and grind, man. Rise and grind. You know, open your eyes and enjoy this beautiful day that the Most High blessed us with. Y'all know, y'all know. Man, we got to take a trip to, you know, the place where it's always sunny, right? Y'all know that furthest state on the West Coast, man. Cali, man. We got to take a trip out there. Go chop it up about JT, the bigger figure. Break Baby, Wack 100, Blue Face, Chris Sean Rock. You know, we even got to discuss Jay-Z, so I guess a little East Coast in there as well. You feel me? But before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon, and turn post notifications on all. That way you will be notified every time we drop a video. Show your brother that love. Let's make the like spike. Look here, family. Don't leave the video without blessing your brother one time for the one time by hitting that like. Y'all know what it is, man. If you haven't ring the bell, do that as well. Wipe your feet as you come in the door. Y'all know what the business is. Now, off the rip, man, we got that man, JT, the bigger figure. As JT, the bigger figure, first, you know, post this pic of his new website, Trap Flicks, letting it be known it's coming up, and then says, I never sold my soul. I just kept working on something that changed my life. Independent game means do it yourself until it happens. 100, I definitely agree with that. And then he posts this pic right here of him and Jay-Z, man, a throwback pic from when they was younger. And then said, when you was born in 1996, I was refusing to sign 360 deals and sell my people out for money and fame. Standing on principle, it slowed me down, but it gave me strength to keep going. Imagine sitting at the table and all you have to do is agree to a request of satanic plots against your own people and the riches you want can and will be yours. But since you have knowledge of God's plan, you would be held accountable. Nah, I think I need to take the long road. Who wants voluntary hellfire? Not me, buddy. Salute to Farrakhan for teaching me this game. All money ain't good money. Salute to Jay-Z. We booked him a few months earlier for his first show in California in Filmo. Him and Dame Dash, I know God is real. I see what he has evolved into and what he achieved from them earlier days. Patiently pushing for what God's plan is. For me, never sitting back, waiting, but steady marching forward. The independent game ain't pretty and for sure ain't easy. You will think you getting left behind if you base it on what the next man got. No, no. Now that's 100 right there. Then goes on to say, stay in your lane and be thankful for every step you achieve in your space and keep stepping until you achieve what God's plan is for you. My steps look small compared to big bro, but to my people, I'm still a big dog. In this independent game big facts this was our second show 1996 san francisco mary tom hall legendary status this message for those who stepping right now don't count another man's pockets be thankful for every nickel you gain and any process you make i'm 31 years in still busting plays i made a life out of the independent game music movies clothing marketing promotion concerts software real estate ain't no one to make it better open your third eye and give Satan his blueprint back for your longevity. Amen. And y'all see somebody down there said, uh, Juice Mode 91 said, but that dude in the middle sold all his people out for money, and that's how he got to the top. And then JT, the bigger figure, responded and said, not my business. Well, you know, I, I kind of feel like he put Jay-Z up there for a reason, but didn't really want to attack him. Y'all got to remember he a part of the music biz, but he was just letting it be known. Like, he was there with Jay-Z, Whenever they was having those meetings, we all heard about the meetings that occurred for hip hop. What was it? I believe like the 80s. You know what I'm saying? We was hearing about the meetings of how they wanted to corrupt hip hop. If you don't know about it, look it up. We'll touch on it one day. But he's saying he, he has been approached by that. They try to make him be a part of that satanic plot. He didn't want to get down with that. So his career got slowed down. He didn't get the heights that a Jay-Z got, even though they were there around the same time that's what i caught from that now you see jay-z shot up to the top he's the highest paid one of the highest paid rappers of all time and uh jay jt just you know kind of took the slow road but he's still good because he stuck to to god's plan you feel me but in this next part man he pretty much shared the video of six nine and uh captures it with all i seen was money and ninjas being tossed around frat yeah, man, uh, I don't know what he meant by frat, but it kind of seemed like he mean effing rat. You know, it's a video of 6 9 so 
what he really doing is taking jabs like bro you acting like you over there trying to look out for the people but you doing this as publicity you know we know jt went to africa and really stood on that business so he's saying you ain't like me in that regard but next up man we got that man whack 100 as you know he posted a video of downtown thailand and uh they had all these wires going across y'all know like the uh what's the called the electrical poles i don't want to call them transformers is that is that what they called or is that the box of electricity whatever they are man it's a crazy amount of wires on the pole man i had to show this one to y'all and get y'all thoughts do you know Man, that's crazy right there look at all them wires man that's a bunch of cable wires telephone wires all kind of other wires man to the transformer right there all that stuff there man that gotta be a fire hazard man just imagine it like a tornado or something ripped through that like that's that's gonna cause some real serious damage man why they do that man that's way too many wires bro but next up man we got that man brick baby as brick baby responds to what he said in an interview on defense mode the interviewer asked him about eric holder being sentenced to 60 years he pretty much said that uh it was a life sentence look listen holder was sentenced to 60 years in jail they went light on him like that's little bro whatever the case is you know what i'm saying for every accident it's a consequence you meet your maker in the streets or you, you know what i'm saying or you get that's that dude named camp capone news man i don't know why i couldn't remember his name man y'all remember charleston white Got on his bumper, man. That was disrespectful. But yeah, Brick Baby said it was a light sentence. And I agree. It was definitely light, you know, for how high profile that case was. But I guess Brick Baby received backlash from that particular clip. So he took to his Instagram to respond to all the people who's, you know, pretty much on his bumper about saying that or speaking on that. Answer this question for me. Do I look like a that give a about a piggy about what the be saying what I'm on camera on the dead homies. I'ma say what I say and I'ma stand on the dead homies. Oh, six so it tripping off what I'm saying. Oh, look, you gonna have your time to see it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I didn't watch that full interview. I just seen that little clip, so I'm not really much qualified to speak on this. But from that little clip, the only thing that I would say, you know, was really bad was uh him continuously saying that, yeah, that was little bro. Man, stop saying that, man. He did something bad to one of your homies, man. You know, he out of line for that. You know, you got to let that one go. Let him go on the cool. But that wasn't it from Brick Baby as he also interviewed Chris Sean Rock. What's going on? It's the street scientist, Brick Baby. You know what I'm saying? Live from the West Coast. We got, we got Chris Sean Rock. Rock, baby. What's the deal? Brick Baby. <laughs> so what you got to, like, coming for is, like, I know you got baddies. You a baddie. You out here bad to What's, what's Another next? Another season of me. Another season of you. You've been yeah, going yeah, crazy. Yeah. Just you I by like yourself. My, my baby journey. And yeah. Pro, congratulations also on the new venture. You know what I'm saying? I hope that y'all, y'all said y'all the best couple on TV. So y'all get it together. Sure, sure we are. Sure we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, who got you together today? Nah. You dressed yourself today? Yeah. This Yo, I know this lady ain't that cute to be 3700 Well, all the guy with the earrings, this. Nah, this you look at... $850, like $900. And then the hey, shoes got... was like, I don't even know. I ain't even wearing them again. Bless another hundred. Hundred thousand. On the top. Yeah, yeah, another hundred on top. You had the Chevy. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, Big everything rock, else. Rock what you need the world to know about your... your look, what you need the world to know about... What's going on with the rock from here on out on that Baltimore? Stay blessed. Um, I'm popping out more with more music, an EP with my blue face, and then an EP the by myself. I don't know. Y'all just gonna stay tuned. I'm gonna keep y'all activated. I'm gonna keep y'all entertained. Just support the big baby. Uh, you dig? Well, this rock right here with the street scientists. You dig what you said? West Coast. Yeah, you did. 
Y'all see he did an interview with Street Scientist, man. And on the cool, that little energy right there might make Blueface a little bit mad, man. Chris Sean was acting like she was kind of feeling the brick. But speaking of Blueface, Blueface doubled down on his OnlyFans uh, comments and also, you know, showed the amenities of Thailand. <laughs> Let me see if they got some raviolis or something for our cat cat. Hello? It's in room dining. Y'all got some ravioli kids? Y'all got ravioli? Yeah, yeah, food. You got raviolis? Uh, pasta? Yeah, let me get the uh, Hong Chao. Can you hear me? You got Hong Chao? Oh, that's the name of the restaurant over. The back Oh, okay. So, let me see. Hmm. I can't read none of this. Buy some chicken wings. You got some chicken wings? Yeah, let me get some chicken wings. I um, don't uh, Buffalo. Yeah, with some french fries and all that. You got that? Got the chicken. I don't got. I'ma die by my Grammys. If you touch it, I'ma up it. Think you Mr. Incredible. Home school yard. I ain't had no buffalo, but this is west side though. If you wanna take it there, we can take it there. I get faded there. On school yard, I be at his house. I get faded there. We the ones that yellow tank down. But we get a little yaki sauce on that. Beat the yaki. On G O D. Boy, oh boy, I dropped a bomb on you with that part. Um, you ain't know you was a part. Well, let me fill you in, baby. I didn't write the guy dictionary. On schoolyard crit. If you on OnlyFans, your baby daddy, your boyfriend, your nephew, the second you press withdraw, you are a pro. If you do porn, I don't give how professional it is. You can have a tripod set up with the Yamaha 3000 red eye camera. It's and the second you get that payment for that scene, you're a pro. Now, man can't be pro. It's another word for them. Something more player like Jay. Of some of that nature, but it's not proper. All right, this is regular f English, English 101. Now, the only reason I'm bringing awareness to it because a lot of young that's they don't know they's because these old is lying to them, telling they independent.